Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here. Happy Thursday, coming at you with a full case of 2024 Topps Stadium Club Baseball. All 16 boxes, this is Pick Your Team 2, and all cards will ship. A lot of autographs in here, a lot of fun rookies to chase, a lot of fun short prints to chase. All cards will ship, and um, I'll do an autograph and a other significant card recap at the, uh, at the end of the break, so if you're uh, watching the video, you can just skip all the way to the end if you just want to see the autos and some of the other lower numbered cards and stuff. Big thanks everybody here for making it happen. Pick your team too. Thanks everybody. Just dropped yesterday. Brand new release. Joe Lawson, double last spot mojo. A couple nice teams there. Rays, Rangers. Good luck. Thanks everybody. And if you're watching live, keep me company here. Settle in. Good excuse to... To, to, you know, deep dive into some sports talk if you want to. Or whatever else. Got Moneyball on in the background on AMC if you want to watch along with me. Fairly early in the movie. Empty box. G-Lo, what's going on? There you go, two autographs in every box. Got Corey Seager all excited about Stadium Club. Right, here we go. Stretch, stretch out my hands a little bit here. Yeah, Moneyball, great movie. Good acting, what a cast. Philip Seymour Hoffman as Art Howe. Brad Pitt. Good baseball action. You know, I read the book a long time ago, but I have, I have not done a, a reread since. Uh, the Moneyball author, I'm fairly certain, uh, is Michael Lewis, and he's done, he's, he's wrote some books that have gone on to do uh, pretty well. Michael Lewis, he wrote uh, Liar's Poker, which I hear is really good, I haven't read that one yet. He did Moneyball, which turned into the movie. Um, he also did, he also wrote the book The Blind Side, which turned into a really nice movie, and wrote a book called The Big Short, which also turned into a movie, which had, which had a great cast about the, uh, financial, uh, housing crisis, the subprime loan crisis of 08-ish, I think, or whenever, whenever that was, 11, 8? You know he's actually he's quite a good writer, so I, I don't I don't remember it being too uh, too confusing. There was math involved, but he's a good storyteller, so he's able to make like I mean he wrote like The Big Short, you know what I mean? He 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 can make, and I think that was a bestseller too. Yeah, so like he's able to really create a. Uh, he, he's good storytelling for sort of complex subjects, which is, which is quite a skill on its own. All right, world champion Otani, and there's our first autograph, and that's Alan Winnens, which will be for Rob and the Braves. Yeah, if you need some holiday reading. Uh, I would I would highly suggest picking up one of those one of those uh, Michael Lewis books. The Yamamoto rookie card, world champion. And remember, all cards ship. Just in the interest of time, I'm going to try to go a little bit more quickly. But you know, and everything I sleeve here will will be top loaded and uh, will be top loaded by our. Sorting and shipping team. All card ship. 
There's Emmett Sheehan. These green ones aren't numbered. Tamoya has the Dodgers. Joe Lawson with the Rangers. We'll get all the Wyatt Langfords and uh, Evan Carters, among others. It's supposed to be this one. A lot of fun inserts here. Nice Junior Caminero, that's for the Rays. That'll also be for Joe. We wanna see like numbered cards of those, uh, you know, those top tier rookies like Skeens and Caminero, Wyatt Langford, Jackson, all the Jacksons. And wow, nice Lone Star Signatures, Ryan Sandberg. Nice insert autograph. Four out of 50. Nice, I haven't seen one of these. This is for uh, Jeremy and the Cubs. Uh, all the uh, St. Louis Browns cards will go to the Orioles, by the way. That's gonna be for David. I think there's also uh, Josh Gibson Homestead Grays cards, and that'll be randomized to uh, uh, that'll be randomized to someone in, in the group here. We'll send that whole lot over. Did we find it? More Camineros. There's our just a base Jackson Holiday. Try to see if we can find something numbered or parallelized. Same with Jason Dominguez, Matt Smith, and the Yankees. I feel like a lot of these photos are image variations in other sets, are they? Maybe. Here's a uh, two out of 30, Jonathan India. Reds, that'll be for Leonard. Die cuts are, uh, some of them can be numbered as well. All right, box one in the books. I'll ignore it, Gilo. All right, box two. But yeah, if you need uh, if you need some holiday reading, you know, maybe you're on vacation or you're just relaxing at home and just trying to unwind, unplug a little bit, read a book. Ladies and gentlemen, read a book. Liar's Poker. I think that's about Wall Street. Um, Moneyball, The Art of Winning, An Unfair Game, which is great. I haven't read The Blind Side. I haven't read Liar's Poker either. Um, I think I did read The Big Short at some point, but yeah. I might have to pick these back up and do a reread here. I don't think he's done. Just uh, done. I guess his most recent book was last year, 2023. Oh, about Sam Bankman Fried, Going Infinite, The Rise and Fall of a New Tycoon. Sam Bankman Fried uh, ran that crypto exchange FTX, which I'm sure will be a movie okay. again at some point. Great. I need one more thing. The book is an intimate account of Bankman Freed's character and relationships and stems from hundreds of interviews and unparalleled access 
that continue even after the FTX collapse in 2022. The book claims that $8 billion prosecutors say were embezzled by Bangman Free may not have actually been stolen, alleges that Bangman Free unsuccessfully sought to bribe Donald Trump to not run again for president. Going Infinite has been criticized for being excessively credulous and overly sympathetic to Bankman Free and lacking insight, and despite the author's access, Lewis has rejected the criticism, obviously. Yeah, that's, that, that could be relevant reading. But how crazy crypto is going right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, these crypto ex exchanges, obviously, this is the growing pains of new technology, I think. I think these nice Ali Dalla Cruz special forces. And I think when any big new bit of technology comes around, especially when it comes to money, there's a lot of, a lot of growing pains, whether it's just bad actors or just uneducated people who are trying to do something. NFTs are a good example. Here's Greg Kissinger for uh, Jonathan and the Tigers. You know, and so... Eventually, I think crypto will have a place in our uh, in our economy. I don't know how, but one way or another. Another Caminero rookie card. Here's our first Jackson Merrill rookie card. That'll be for Jeff Walker and the Padres. Again, I want to I want to see like low numbered numbered cards of those guys. And here's uh, Luke Little. As for Jeremy and the Cubs. Uh, how Luke Little, not Little. This guy is 6'8", 220. Woo. Not Little at all. Ooh, nice. These are uh, short prints right there. That's Beam Team, Julio Rodriguez. Nice J-Rod. That's going to be for Joshua and the Mariners. Nice. Got a blue Marco Luciano with is to 50 and a Jack Lighter Chrome. All right, nice box. Anything going on in the baseball world? We got Mets owner Steve Cohen to meet with Juan Soto and Scott Boris next week. Alex Bregman, who's a free agent, willing to move to second base if need be. White Sox are targeting position players 
in Garrett Crochet Trade Talks. Interesting. Looks like the Red Sox and Orioles also interested in Teoscar Hernandez. Phillies exploring outfield right-handed relief markets. Jeff Hoffman getting interested as a starter. Garrett Crochet sounds like a, sounds like a guy that the Dodgers would would want to pick up. You know, Dodgers have a lot of a uh, lot of prospects that uh, you know aren't are going to be blocked by guys with with big contracts. So maybe they can move some, some youngsters out there. He's got limited track record. He has dealt with some injuries. Yeah, Jeremy, you got a you got a Ryan Sandberg auto, and I think one other auto. We got a Sunny Gray auto, Stadium Club Chrome autograph. These are not as common. That's gonna be Robert and the Cardinals. Talking about Josh Gibson, that's gonna be part of a randomizer. And everyone will get a shot at the Homestead Grays. And here's our second autograph. That's gonna be. Uh, Cody Funderburg. Funderburg. Funder. I mean, if he's a closer, you gotta you gotta come out to you gotta come out to Thunder, right? ACDC. Thunder. Gotta go with that. It's like a closer or something like that. There you go, Ryan Sanders' favorite player. He'll take it. It was an insert auto too. Parallel, right? This is your basic breakdown of all the location of pitches where you should be getting a wide chip. He wants to walk one. Good question. Yeah. Excuse me? That'll be for the Rangers, it'll be for Joe Lawson. Moneyball in the background. I feel like they did a really good job with the casting too. I think they got former. I think they got like actual ball players. It's easier to. I guess it's slightly easier to teach uh, 
ball players how to act in a sports movie than it is to be actors, to be athletes. What's up, Rex? I don't know why that got me. It was pretty. It was pretty hilarious. Shoo. That, did it just auto correct to shoe? What were you trying? Just missed a letter and it was just like, oh, we'll just send shoe out. Got some purple chrome, chip off the old block, Chipper Jones to 75. That will be for Rob and the Braves. Got some Jackson Holiday. And our first autograph of the box, Lion Richardson. Rookie auto for the red legs. That's going to go to Leonard. Still have symptoms from moderate to severe ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease after a TNF blocker like you We got a we got a Ryan Sandberg auto beam team. Julio Rodriguez. Uh, but nothing significant for Rangers or Angels though. Not yet anyway. We're only we're. We've barely made a dent in this case. We've got probably another hour to go. There's Freddy, there's 90 out of 99, Juan Soto Special Forces. Matt, with the Yankees. Who knows where he's going to end up? Here is a Jason Dominguez rookie die cut for the Yankees. Another Yankee for Matt Smith. Ellie Dela Cruz, and we've got a nice Bobby Miller, members only. Which I think are also short printed. Yeah, Jeremy got it. Hopefully Bobby Miller bounces back next year. Here's our first Jung Hoo Lee. And we got an Andrew Jones. Only some nice penmanship from Andrew Jones. Rob with the Braves. We like Braves edition of Andrew Jones. Uh, Kevin with the Giants will get all of the uh, Jung Ho Lees. 
for plans with additional benefits or cost savings you may not be receiving now or that may have previously not been available to you. You don't get a plan with additional benefits. So someone posted that they hit five all red cards from one pack. Advantage plans are available during the Medicare annual enrollment period. Now is the time to call. What do you mean? You could be eligible to enroll in a Medicare Advantage Like it's all red? Includes additional benefits and may help you save money. You should call even if you called last year. Just follow these steps. One. Call the number on your screen. You mean like this? Share your zip code with the agent. And three, find a plan that best meets your needs. Remember, you do not automatically get a Part C plan that could save you money. All or right. Additional benefits. Next box. So call now. Uh, on MLBTradeRumors.com, the Mets have been expected to line up as one of Juan Soto's primary suitors all winter. And after reaching out to Scott Boris on day one after the offseason, owner Steve Cohen is now set for an in-person visit with Soto and his agent in Southern California next week. I think Scott Boris' offices are about an hour or so south of Jaspies. In Orange County, if you know the area. No, I think those, those red parallels are actually fairly common. Your Boris players this year, free agents, Pete Alonzo, Corbin Burns, Alex Bregman, Blake Snell, Sean Manaya, Yusai Kikuchi, Hassan Kim. So there might be some other players that the uh, Mets also want to talk about. Yeah, it is weird that they're all in one pack, but I don't think they're, I think they're fairly common though. Yeah, little needs to be said about the potential fit for Soto and Queens. He's amongst the game's very best players. As a free agent who will play next season to age 26, he's arguably the most coveted free agent since Alex Rodriguez hit the open market at the same age. One could argue Shohei Otani, but he hit the market at 29, and after some, uh, after another elbow surgery too. The Mets, meanwhile, have one departing free agent outfielder, Harrison Bader, another who's a free agent after next season, sorry, Marte and more than $100 million in free agent salaries coming off the books. Even with a full outfield, the Mets would be making a strong push for Soto. No team in Major League Baseball has a larger gap between their 2025 projected payroll and 2024. Wow, so they got a lot of money coming off the books. I, mean, I really I can't imagine the teams outside of you know I can't imagine it's, it's not going to be the Yankees or the Mets but I guess there were reports that maybe the Rays were interested which is highly doubtful and we got Luke and Baker in that red parallel rookie auto for the Cardinals, that's gonna be for Robert. 28 out of 50. There's Juan Soto, where does he end up? We got Giancarlo Stan and out of 50. Julio Rodriguez, Virtuosos of Velocity. Highlighting those exit velos. Another base Jackson Merrill, Ozzy Albies, Jazz Chisholm. And a Junior Caminero rookie autograph. Nice. That's going to go to Joe Lawson and the Rays. Last spot in Mojo. 70% of the time. Hits all the time. And a really nice one, too. Yeah, I mean, he's 
he's pretty much consensus definitely top 10 a lot of people in that have, have him as a top five prospect and I think they kept him in the minors for a little while this season never really got into gear maybe in the majors but I think full spring training you know he's probably has a starting job from day one so so we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on him might be one of the big players to chase in these 2024 sets. Here's our first Paul Skeens. Let's see if we can find any numbered Paul Skeens here, Jason. Something parallel, numbered, maybe an auto. Another uh, Jason Dominguez die cut. That's going to be for Matt and the Yankees. Billy Dollar Cruz, Special Forces. All right. Nice. Next. Sounds like Yankees owner Hal Steinbrenner reported they had a private meeting with Soto over the summer. A lot of other names, teams are being thrown in the mix. I don't know if the Dodgers, Dodgers could, but I don't know if they really are aggressively in on Juan Soto, but I don't know, you know. Dodgers do, they do have a pretty tight ship. I feel like they're on a tight ship. I think in the days leading up to the Otani signing, I was kind of a surprise, right? But, I mean, yeah. Remember, we looked this up the other day, Otani was signed it's December 11th or something like that. It's almost mid-December, so it's possible that, that that might be the timeline for Juan Soto after he meets with everybody and negotiates and figures things out. I'm sure teams would want to get would want to know the results of the Juan Soto sweepstakes as quickly as possible, so they know where to reallocate money if necessary. Dennis, also a free agent. Here's a world champion, James Altman. Might get another chance at the at a starting outfield job next year. We'll see. Tamoya with my Dodgers.
All right, here's the Stadium Club Chrome. Jackson Merrill, nice. That's the kind of stuff we want to see here. Padres, Jeff Walker. Lars Newtbar, 31 out of 99. Cardinals, it's going to be for Robert. And a red Jason Dominguez, nice. Matt Smith with the Yankees. Tatis Jr. This one is numbered 64 out of 99. Padres, Jeff. Do all those pieces turn into something? Is, it, is that like a puzzle? Does anyone know? And we got Oselvis Basabe. Another auto for the Rays. Joe Lawson, last spot mojo. Uh, I think we still don't know where the Rays are going to play after that, that hurricane that ripped through that area. It uh, tore off the roof. So I don't, I don't think that's something that can be fixed by opening day. So they're gonna have to figure it out. I mean, I'm sure other teams would want to know. Hey, where are we where are we flying in? Where are we going? I mean, are, you know, this is gonna have all the the facilities that we need for a major league baseball team. there's really any other major baseball news happening. I mean, Kershaw got surgery, predictably says he's going to crush rehab, he's going to be ready for ready for uh, spring training. I think it's just like a little minor knee procedure and a toe procedure. I guess Bregman had elbow surgery just to move a, remove a little bone shift. I'm not sure how that's going to affect his free agent market. <laughs> Boris, according to ESPN, Boris saying Soda will take his time in free agency. Indicated that Thoreau desires a thorough vetting before making a decision. He wants to meet people personally. He wants to talk with them. He wants to hear from them. Yeah, I mean, he's earned that right. He's a pretty great player. Next box, good luck. 
Rex Feed does not protect everyone and it's not for those with severe allergic reactions to its ingredients. Those with weakened immune systems may have a lower response. Got a nice red Yoshinobu Yamamoto, world champion, going to Tomoya and the Dodgers. Rex is number one in RSV vaccine shots. RSV, make it a Rex Feed. Yeah, 40% off. What's Michael Harris doing here? Is he uh, is he doing a Karate Kid crane? Is he flying? Is he doing angels in the outfield? Uh, here is uh, Connor Kaiser, rookie auto for the Rocks. That's going to go to Matt Arnold in the Rockies. He's moving to first. Eddie Peralta, the 30. Samoya with the Brewers. I feel like we haven't seen a lot of Jackson Churios, right? I miss any. All cards will ship, so. Hey, Ricardo. Hola, señor. Hola. This must be a bit of a shock, I guess. And there's J.P. Martinez for the Rangers. That's Joe Lawson's other last spot mojo team. Jackson Holiday around, but that's Chrome, Stadium Club Chrome Jackson Holiday. David with the Orioles. box. Got money ball on the background. It really did change. It really did change the way people evaluate baseball players. For the A's, it was almost necessity because they just didn't have the money to sign players. So they had to rethink how they evaluate players, and I think that did change. Changed a lot of things for a lot of teams.
believe that ace team won 19 games in a row. That was wild. Here is Carson Spears. Leonard with the Reds. J.P. Crawford, 4 out of 75. That will be for Joshua and the Mariners. There's blue Kyle Harrison to 50. It's for the Giants, that will be for Kevin. Jonathan, what's going on? We have not seen any significant Red Sox just yet, but we've got a whole half case to go. We're only halfway through in the rest of this box. And there is Luis Matos, rookie auto for the Giants. Kevin with the Giants. All the great photography here. Right now, many of us are thinking about Thanksgiving celebrations. But as we gather for a festive meal, many animals are wondering if food will ever come. Many animals are starving right now. The unbearable pain that comes Sad animal the commercial on the background. There are animals that have no idea when their next meal will come. They can't even remember when their last meal was. And they are moments from that. Oh, and they're just like, oh, 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 oh. So I'm here to ask you at a time when we have so much to be thankful for. Will you open your heart to help an animal who's hungry? There's no base no Jackson no Merrill, another one for Jeff and the Padres. I'm going to look for something a little more significant than that. Will the thrill work in the camera? Show them the love in your heart. There are empty bowls that are sitting there waiting to be filled. You can tell that these dogs are so weak from hunger. They've got a die cut Gunner Henderson. No animal should have to go hungry. And this thing Jackson Holiday. You can fill their bowl. Rizzo. And we're officially halfway through the break. Got about another 45, 50 minutes to go on this one. It's a long one, folks, but thanks for bearing with me here. Uh, vote in our uh, YouTube chat poll. Who wins a Thursday night football game tonight? Um, Cincinnati, four and five Bengals are on the road. They're plus six and a half. Ravens are minus six and a half. They're six and three. But, you know, who knows? In a, uh, in a divisional matchup, anything can happen. Bengals have been playing a lot better lately, though. The total is 52 and a half. Yeah, that Sandberg from earlier was nice. Yeah, that insert auto I hadn't seen. It's pretty nice. I don't think there's any major injury news on, on either side. I guess the guys have been out the last couple of weeks are still out. Like T. Higgins isn't making a return. I think Isaiah likely is still out. Alfred 
Uh, the Bengals won the home version of this matchup in early October. A 41-38 win in overtime. And if the Bengals, they can make the, the season sweep. I'm not sure if the Ravens will make that easy for them, but... It's the betting market saying... Not, not much. 46% of the bets are on the Bengals, so they're the oppo public, slightly, but only 45% of the money. So, let me guess, uh, guess coin flip at plus six? Maybe the hook helps. Forty monkeys. Rex says has escaped from a lab in South Carolina and are on the loose. There's Jose Fermin. Escape Rex or released? Mm. Who knows, it could be the work of uh, some animal liberation front. If they arise, just a refractor. I don't think I've seen this. This looks kind of rare. Going yard die cut? That's for Joe and the Rangers. And we've got a Jose Tena. We've got two Jose's, Jose Fermin and Jose Tena in this one. This is for the Guardians. D Munn. Cleveland, this is for you. on the free agent market. A little older, but it might be serviceable for a team somewhere out there. Jason Dominguez is there for Matt and the Yankees.
All right, next box, let's go. Zach Gallen, Stadium Club Chrome, gold. I don't think these are too common here. It's going to be for Joe and the Diamondbacks. And the auto back there. Is, uh, that's David Eckstein. Nice. Robert with the Cardinals. Uh, his wife, Ashley Eckstein, does a lot of voice work for animated shows and was, uh, was Ahsoka in the animated series. When someone says, hey, Joe, if you could have dinner with anybody, you know, who, who would be at the table? My wild card answer is usually David and Ashley Eckstein because I can talk baseball and Star Wars. Should be nice. That's the gold minted. Yeah, we were talking about that yesterday. Nice. And here's a Stadium Club Chrome, Jason Dominguez. That's Matt Smith and the Yankees. Jung Hoo Lee Chrome. For the Giants, Kevin. And here's our second auto of the box. That's Abner Uribe. Rookie auto for the Brew Crew. That's going to be for Tamoya. I do see some orders trickling in. So yeah, let's start let's start thinking about let's start thinking about what we're gonna do after this. And text Jaspies, J A S P Y S to that number in the chat, eight three three nine two one seven three one five. Sign up for our text messages and You'll get, every once in a while, we'll, uh, every once in a while you'll get a, uh, a discount code texted to you, so that could be helpful when you're placing orders. Yeah, me too. I'm glad this, this happened early as well.
Andrew Abbott. Leonard with the Reds. How young Daryl Strawberry looks right there. Stand the man to 75. That'll be for the Cardinals. That's going to go to Robert. It's a great shot of Cal Raleigh right there. You want a gold glove. And there's a Shota Imanaga. That's a Stadium Club Chrome card. That'll be for Jeremy and the Cubs. I would encourage everybody to, you know, if you want a fun box to rip on your own, I think it would be the Stadium Club Baseball. There's you, Andres Gomez, for the Yankees. I think there's so much, like, fun, unique pictures and stuff. It's kind of kind of cool to linger on some of the pictures. It's Matt Smith and the Yankees. Freddie Freeman die cut. And another box down. Great Wolf Lodge. This reminds me of the. Uh, reminds me of our trip to Wisconsin. Wisconsin Dells. There was a card show there that we got lured to. Um, it's kind of a. It's actually a fun trip. I think it was just. Was it just me, Marin? Nick and Mike, I think. It's just us? Did someone else go? No, I think it was just us. We flew... We flew into Chicago and then took a, a tiny little plane to uh, Milwaukee. I think it was... We could have drove, but I think it was cheaper out of there. And then we went to... And we got a car in Milwaukee and we drove an hour and a half or so to the Wisconsin Dells, which I think a lot of Midwesterners, at least my friends from Chicago, are all like, oh, you went to the Dells? We used to go there when we were kids. It's the biggest, I think it's more water parks per square mile than anybody anywhere else in the world. There's like a dozen. So they they build these huge indoor water parks. As a Cal, as a Southern Californian, that's obviously a novelty to me because all of our water parks are outdoors. 
But indoor water parks, you know, make sense for parts of the country that have more weather. So we actually ended up staying at one of those lodges, and I think it was, I think it was before the, it was like a few weeks before the busy season. So there was like the town was still kind of dead, but the locals were saying, "Man, if you came here three weeks later, you wouldn't have been able to drive anywhere, go anywhere." But yeah, there was a card show there. We went there, we set up for a couple days. I think we did some breaks from there. And then uh, we came back. So his motto is 10 out of 50 for the Giants, for Kevin. We drove back to Milwaukee. We had like lunch at, at like the, the marketplace down there, which was pretty cool. Cade Marlowe, autograph for the Mariners. That's going to go to Josh. Really like how I did all the all the baseball scenes in uh in Moneyball. Stadium Club Chrome Evan Carter. We got a Junior Caminero Stadium Club Chrome for Joe Lawson. Whoa, and a red Derek Jeter, three out of 25 autograph. Nice. Some nice surprises here in Stadium Club. That's awesome. Matt Smith got the Yankee straight up. Gets the Derek Jeter. Just uh, three out of 25. Derek Jeter's, what Derek Jeter's number? <laughs> He's two, right? Yeah, one off the jersey number. Sorry, Matt. You're gonna have to settle for three out of 25. Nice. Here's Vlad Guerrero Jr. Orange. 66 out of 99. That'll be for Joe B and the Blue Jays. Another box. What is Billy Bean doing these days? I think he's still with the A's, yeah. He's currently senior advisor to owner John Fisher and a minority owner of the A's. Also, the minority owner of Barnsley Soccer in the EFL League One and AZ Alkmaar 
in the uh, Dutch lady, the Eredivisie. He was from San. He grew up in San Diego. Went to high school in San Diego too. So. We got Orion Kerkering. Rookie auto for the Phillies, Scott Anderson with the fighting Phils. Shota Imanaga. I'm just going to do the Walker Bueller like That's why that's why like I try to stack the quarterbacks with the uh, with their receivers cuz then you can few you know a handful of times a year they'll just go off and then it's a weak winner TJ Hopkins, Leonard with the Reds. Red Jason Dominguez, Matt with the Yankees. It's kind of a weird, sort of whipped his body around there. Here's a Sunny Gray to 25. Got a Jackson Merrill. And Cardinals, Robert with the Cardinals. Gets the Sunny Gray to 18 out of 25. Garrett Cole, 94 out of 99. Got an Otani die cut. I think that's our... Unless I missed some. 
All cards should, but I think that's our first Jackson Churio, Tomoya. I had to have missed some. There's there probably got to be more than that. But maybe that's the first one. I don't know. Three boxes to go. The director who did Moneyball hasn't really done a lot. He did Capote a while ago. His recent, most recent feature film was Foxcatcher, which I meant to watch, but the film's plot is loosely based on the events surrounding multimillionaire E.I. DuPont family, the heir and wrestling enthusiast John DuPont's recruitment of two Olympic gold medalist wrestlers tell coach U.S. wrestlers for participation in National World Olympic competition, and the subsequent murder of uh, one of the wrestlers by DuPont in January 1996. Wild. There's an Ellie Dela Cruz. I don't think we've seen a lot of him either. Your Stadium Club Chrome version of Ellie Dela Cruz. It's going to go to Leonard. And a Wyatt Langford autograph. Nice one for Joe Lawson and the Rangers last spot mojo. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits all the time. 28 out of 50. So the Rays and the Rangers were the last teams just sitting there. And um, Rays got the Junior Caminero autograph and the uh, Rangers got the Wyatt Langford autograph. Wyatt Langford, yeah. First round pick. I think fourth overall. Just behind it was Paul Skeens, Dylan Cruz, Max Clark, Wyatt Langford. So I think this guy's got a pretty high ceiling. Had a solid year last year too, a 3-9 war, 253 batting average, 16 home runs, 19 stolen base, 74 runs batted in, 740 OPS. Yeah, pretty solid. He's only 22. Yeah, there you go, Joe. Thanks for grabbing those teams. 
Jeremy's going to take the deep side. Here's what's really interesting. Because Jeremy's going to do what he never does. He's going to go for it. He's going to round first, and he's going to go for it. Okay? This is all of Jeremy's nightmares coming to life. Jeremy's about to realize that the ball went 60 feet over the fence. He hit a home run. He didn't even realize it. Juan Soto die cut. Otani, Chief Fantasy. And Connor Phillips is your second autograph of the box. Leonard with the Reds. How can you not be romantic about baseball? Great one. Be our first Paul Skeens too. Stadium Club Chrome Paul Skeens Pirates Jason Kirsch. I'm sure there's more of these guys. I don't know. We still got two boxes to go. All right, let's see what, what we got here. Final two boxes. Thanks for sticking with me here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll do a little recap at the end. A randomizer for all the Josh Gibson cards. Feel free to vote in our YouTube chat poll. Who wins the Thursday night football game tonight? You're the four and five Bengals. They already beat the uh, Ravens earlier this season. They are in Baltimore now. That was a home game for the Bengals. So they arrive as the Road Dogs, plus six and a half. I don't know if it's still six and a half, but it was six and a half at the time of uh, the time I posted the poll. Sixty-seven percent have the Ravens winning tonight. They're six and three, trying to avenge that overtime loss in Cincinnati. Believe it or not, six and three actually puts the Ravens in second place. The Steelers. Your Pittsburgh Steelers are in first. Six and two. Baltimore six and three. They've, they've played an, you know, play an extra game, but I think Steelers bye week last week, right? I think. All right, let's go. You guys need to try this. I'm telling you, this stuff is different. And you can try it risk free. You have nothing to lose. Go check it out now. Go to crystalflush.com. It's hard to say who'll be more excited on the day after Christmas. The guy who got a brand new truck for mom and dad? Or the guy who got all the weather tech protection for his truck? Does that look like, I don't, know, I don't think that's the gold minted card. No drill mud flaps. Impact liner with shock absorbing brakes. And top it off with the alloy cover. Find these American made gifts or get a gift card instantly at WT.com. I knew we pulled one earlier. Oh, man. Or the exorcist. 
And the guy who dabbed the place? Everything's cursed. No, it's not. The player would be bold too. That's just a standard Stadium Club Chrome card. And there's a Taylor Colway, rookie auto for the Padres. That's going to be for Jeff Walker and the Friars. We got a Cunha you know, Jr. die cut. You earn USAA membership for your family. For you? USAA, are you eligible? And Colton Kowser, rookie auto for the Orioles. Part of that great crew of youngsters. In Baltimore, David Millel with the Baltimore Orioles. There you go, Dave. Jackson Holiday. All right, last box coming up. We made it. Final two autographs, final box. Uh, I see a few orders coming in, but that's about it. So if you want to join uh, Jalen, Cassandra, and Brandon, I'm sure they'd appreciate your help on any of these breaks. We're going to have to start looking for something else to do tonight. So let's drop the uh, website in the chat. So go to jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's get rolling on some uh, more breaks. Grizzlebees, what's going on? anniversary of Interstellar. AMC's got that going on Friday. That's uh, a great movie. If you, if, you, if you like those kind of movies, it's a Christopher Nolan picture, so worth a watch if you haven't seen it. Here we go. Once again, final box. Thanks for the fill. Good luck, everybody. We got the rest of our night to go. There's Johan Rojas, rookie auto for the fills. Scott. 
So let's uh, let's do it. Scott and the Phillies once again. What movie is this? Deep Water Horizon? Oh, this is the drilling rig explosion movie. Mark Wahlberg's in it. Kurt Russell, Kate Hudson. It's a different Hessen Kirkstad card there, David with the Orioles. Sort of a vintage sort of look. The regular Hessen Kirk stuff. Austin Riley saying, Oh, yeah, gee, this is an hour long break. Then there's our last auto. That's uh, Osvaldo Beto, 11 out of 25 for the A's. We we're just finished watching Moneyball. Scott Anderson with the A's, so appropriate here. Austin Riley, purple chrome to 75. That will be for Rob and the Braves. And what else do we have here? The autos are all out. Anything else here? Bobby Wood Jr. We've got a... I don't think these are too common. I didn't see any in the first case. We only have two here. Jackson Churio, going yard die cut. Joe with the fish. Time takes your messages show up. Uh, that's not that, not that big of a delay. Too harsh. All right, Albert Pujols, and this first day issue is a short print. That's Hideki uh, Matsui. Great break for the Yankees, Matt Smith. And George Springer at the end. There's your break, ladies and gentlemen. 2024 Top Stadium Club Baseball 16 box, pick your team two in the books. We're gonna do a recap in a second. Uh, Josh Gibson cards. Who are they going to go to? So let's flip back to the list over here. Let's gather everybody's names, 1 through 30. New dice, new list. Name on top after 3 and a 1, four times. 1, 2, 3, and 4. We'll get all of the Josh Gibson cards. That's going to be for you, David. All right, there you go, gang. That is your break. Here is the recap for the break. We've got the uh, first day issue, the going yard die cut, Colton Kowser, Skeens Chrome, the Wyatt Langford Red, Ellie Dela Cruz Chrome, the Derek Jeter was really nice. All right, so we have the, there's the Wyatt Langford autograph, the Derek Jeter. David Eckstein, the gold minted Zach Gallen, going yard Corey Seeger. Let's 
Some Jackson Merrills, James, and Junior Camonero autograph. These were two of the last spot Mojo teams. Joe Lawson got got them both. They were just sitting there. Got Baker, Andrew Jones, members only Bobby Miller for the Dodgers. It's a short print. Bean Team, Julio Rodriguez was pretty cool too. Luke Little for the Cubs, who's not little, 6'8", 220. Ryan Sandberg autograph, Lone Star signatures, not too common at all. And that's your break. Pick your team two in the books. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.